Hello friends! In this video, you will learn about a project that has not been implemented for more than 50 years, and according to the current government of Afghanistan, this project is going to start in the near future. This project is the same as the Gulbahar Village Power Dam project in Parwan province, which was started during the rule of Dawood Khan Karash and has been stopped until today. Let's get to know this project and the beautiful area of Golbahar. Golbahar is a village in Parwan province of Afghanistan. Golbahar village has more than 20,000 people, and it is located at the mouth of Tangji Valley, in the southern part of Hindu Kush mountain range, 76 kilometers north of Kabul city. And it is the place of residence of Panjshir people. Gorban Valley is located in the northwest of Golbahar. Golbahar water is supplied from Panjshir River and Shodal Valley water. Golbahar region is located half in Parwan province and half in Kapisa province. Golbahar is a green area. In 2008, the contract for the project of technical and economic studies of the Golbahar storage dam on the upper Panjshir River was concluded between the Ministry of Energy and Water of Afghanistan and the company. This dam will irrigate 70,000 hectares of existing agricultural land and with its construction, the irrigation problem of Kapisa and Parwan provinces will be solved. The power generation capacity of this project will be 120 megawatts. The effectiveness of this dam is to prevent flooding and erosion at the bottom of the dam and also the use of drinking water for the residents of Parwan, Kapisa and Kabul, especially the new town of Kabul located in Desabs, which will not have drinking water problems in the long run. The height of the dam is 200 meters, and the catchment area of this project is 3,565 square kilometers. The storage capacity is 760 million cubic meters, and the water diversion tunnel is 9 meters in diameter, and the water transfer capacity is 788 cubic meters per second. Golbahar Panshir Dam has the capacity to store 760 million cubic meters of water and produce 120 megawatts of electricity and will provide irrigation for 70,000 hectares of agricultural land. With the construction of this dam, in addition to water management and electricity production, the problem of water users in Parwan and Kapisa provinces will be solved, and this dam will also play a significant role in supplying drinking water to Kabul province. Efforts are underway to provide funding for this clause so that the implementation of the clause can be started in the future. The construction of the power dam above the Panshir Sea in the Golbahar area of Jabal Al Sraj district of Parwan is a good step towards the self sufficiency of electricity and water for Parwan Kapisa provinces. But unfortunately, this project was not implemented until today, and it was sacrificed, and ethnic and language barriers were placed, and it never reached the implementation stage. The construction of this dam was one of the infrastructure projects of Mohammad Daud Khan and its practical work had started in the last days of Daud Khan's rule, but it was put out of action when the communist regime under the former Soviet protectorate came to power in the country. But the Taliban government has visited this area and said that it is going to implement this project in the near future. Breshna company announced that three large electricity projects worth 18 million euros were put into operation in Kapisa province. These three major development projects, which include power transmission lines and substations, have been completed by the anti gration company in Kapisa province. These projects include the extension of the 110 kV line for 44 kilometers from Naglu Dam in Kabul to Ahmad Bay Hill in Najarab district of Kapisa province, the construction of the 110 kV station in Ahmed Bay Hill, and the 20 kV power distribution networks of the first phase of the district. Tagab was in Kapisa province. With the opening of these projects, 12,000 families will benefit from electricity. In addition, high voltage transmission lines with Golbahar substation with a capacity of 320 megawatts and Tepesorek with a capacity of 32 megawatts will connect the provinces of Parwan, Kapisa, Panshir, and the eastern provinces of the country with imported resources and water resources of the country. The cost of these projects is 18. It was 5 million euros, 15.5 million of which was contributed by France, and 3 million of which was paid by the Afghan government. 
Golbahar region is located half in Parwan province and half in Kapisa province. Golbahar is a green area. Golbahar is an old and ancient land related to Parwan province, which is one of the oldest cities in Ariane. Golbahar has achieved a good geographical position in Parwan and is considered one of the famous and beautiful northern areas. This region has abundant water sources, mild spring, hot summer with strong winds, cool dry autumn and not so cold winter. The Panjshir and Chatel seas, which originate from the foothills of the Hindu Kush, pass through this area and meet in the Golbahar Public Garden, which is considered one of the most famous recreation areas in the country. And the people of Parwan and Kapisa provinces benefit from the waters of these seas in the fields of agriculture, livestock. They use electricity and drinking water. Golbahar forms the natural border between Parwan, Kapisa, and Panjshir provinces, and has a good strategic location. This area contains about 85 small and large villages, where approximately 21,000 people live in this area and speak Persian. The people of this land are mostly engaged in agriculture, and in this way, they make a living. And the agricultural income of these people is mostly legumes, such as wheat, millet, beans, mung bean, gall, etc. But now a large number have turned to business, because the population of this area has increased and the lack of agricultural land has forced people to choose other options. Various fruits that can be found in Golbahar are mulberry, apricot, cherry, peach, almond, plum, charmix. About our ba of this district, from the north of it is Shotol district, to the east of it is Hisa, AOL Kohistan district, to the west of it is Jabal al Saraj district, and to the south of that district, Sidkel is located. There is no scientific explanation as to why this region is called Golbahar, and it is simply the flowering of this region in the spring season. Of course, there is a folklore story about the naming of Golbahar, which is quoted by people who say that this land was full of water in the old days. When the water of this area evaporated, a flower grew in this land in the spring season. From the name of this flower and the spring season, this area, it was called Golbahar. Thank you for watching.